Hey guys, what's going on? Josh here, and in today's video, I just wanted to showcase the new sunglasses that I got, and these are the new Ray-Ban Stories. Um, now, they do come in a couple of different ver variations and sizes and all that, too. Um, so this here specifically is the new limited edition, Festival Edition. So with it, it's a plastic, shiny um, blue frame with orange lenses on it. But you can get this in a variety of other colors. There's a matte black one, there's a shiny black one, there's um, different styles. This is the Wayfarer, um, there's also the Meteor, and then there's one more that's out there too. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just include all that stuff below here so you can take a look at that for yourself. Um, but today I just wanted to go through an overview of my experience with this after using it for a full week and seeing what your thoughts are and seeing if you'd like it too. So right out of the box, what you're gonna get in here is going to be the charge case itself. And inside of here is where you're gonna have these glasses already charging. Um, now you should charge this up fully before you actually start using it, um, just so that you don't have any issues or anything like that and then start syncing it up. Um, but what else comes in the box is going to be the USB-C to USB-C charging cable. Um, it does not come with the brick to charge it, so you do have to supply it out on your own. It comes with an instructional guide on doing all the basic functions with these glasses and some regulatory information, which is all well and fun. So read that if you like. Um, but that is pretty much everything that comes outside of the box. Um, again, they do come in a couple of different sizes and you'll see all of that information over here too before you even open it. Um, but the glasses itself is going to look just like this. So it's a pretty light frame. I don't really see much of a difference between this and some of my older pairs, but it's still a plastic frame with it. From here you can see the two cameras on it and they're five megapixel cameras. A couple of physical buttons on here, one being the power button right here and then the other one being your shutter button over here on your right temple. Um, now with that button all you have to do is just press it once and it starts a 30 second video. You don't have to do anything else or if you long press it then it actually takes a photo and there's a pretty satisfying um, sound whenever you do any of these too. So you'll hear that audio um, as far as taking the picture goes or when the video stops and starts. And you also have a small LED indicator here anytime you're doing something, privacy reasons. So you'll see that white blinking light if you're recording something or just that steady light if you are taking a picture. Um, you get to see that on your side as well as people in front of you so you're not being a creeper or anything. Some of the other functions on this would be to um, control volume, um, take pictures and everything too. So with this, you have a touch sensor on the right temple over here. Swiping forward would increase the volume, swiping back it decreases it. Um, double tapping answers calls and ends them as well. Um, that's also how you skip songs, play songs, things like that. So it kind of works the same way as if you had AirPods, but it being built into the glasses itself. Um, the way the speakers work on it is that you have a couple of speakers over here on the top on each side and then you also have directional ones on the bottom here that's pointing straight towards your ears. So that is how you get to hear everything as far as music goes and the quality on it's pretty good. Um, it's not stellar but it's enjoyable. With that you can also do phone calls too because there's a couple of microphones on it. So with that you can have a conversation, you can hear it, it's not very loud so it's not as though everybody else in the room is going to hear your conversation, it's fine. Um, the same if you're you know, just walking around and everything too out in public. Um, with those microphones too, it also enables voice features on these glasses where you can say, Hey Facebook, start video. And that actually just triggered the glasses here and it's taking that picture now. When I have tried using that, I was testing out two pairs at the same time. So whenever I was trying to take a picture or do a video with my glasses, okay, it also triggered right. the ah. other pair of glasses <laughs> and both of them were doing the same thing at the same time. So that was kind of common. Oh, that's too funny. Um, so if you are in a room where somebody knows what these functions are, <laughs> they can trigger it too without you doing it. So it's not tied to your voice specifically, it's just those words itself. As far as listening to music on it goes, there's different volume settings and everything with it. You get to adjust it from the glasses or you can do it from your phone or whatever device you're using to stream the music from. Um, in my experience, I don't like hearing it on full blast because then the music kind of gets distorted. When it's a few volume notches down, I can actually start feeling some of the bass and everything behind it. So that would be my recommendation. Um, the way the music kind of works on it is kind of like if you are hearing background music in a room or in an office or something like that. That's the easiest way I can put it. So I really enjoyed it whenever I was going to the pool or the beach. You know, it was perfect for those settings. Calls on these glasses were pretty good too. Um, I was able to hear the conversation just fine. I didn't have to have that person repeat themselves or you know, ask them to speak any more clear. They were just carrying on the conversation as though I had the phone straight up to my head. Um, so that was really nice and 
I really didn't see much of a difference there. So that works out great. The way you charge these glasses too is when you fold them up, you will see a connecting piece right over here that clicks in to the case here. And that's how it charges. And it's all magnetic, so it's not like you're gonna be able to put it in the wrong way or anything like that. It's not like throwing it in there, it's not gonna start charging. It only fits in there one way, so it's pretty foolproof in that case. As far as charging the case itself goes, um, you have one USB-C port on the back here, and you can use any USB-C cable to charge it. So wherever you're at, it's pretty easy to top it off. Um, only takes a couple hours to charge it anyway. And then charging these guys, I think it charges up to about 50% in about a half hour, so battery life on it's pretty good. Um, I've been able to listen to music at a really, really low volume where I kind of liked it for about four hours or so before the battery died on me. Um, if you play the music a little bit louder, obviously that's gonna kill the battery a little bit faster, but then that also distorts the quality of it. So based on your preference, play it however you like. Um, the charge case itself was actually able to give my glasses maybe about six charges or so complete. So I didn't really have to charge this at all this week. Um, and I've been using them every single day. So it's really nice that I didn't have to worry about the battery on it. With the cameras that's on it, it's using two cameras um, on left and right hand side there. And they're five megapixel cameras. So they're not the top notch best cameras out there um, compared to using your phone or anything like that. But for its location and its ease of use, it's amazing. So I don't have to worry about like missing out any moments because all I have to do is just go up to my temple, hit that button, and then it records everything right then and there. I don't have to worry about pulling out my phone, missing it, it takes too long for me to open up my camera app, switch over to the video mode, or if I'm trying to take a picture, whatever the case may be, and then that moment might have already passed. It only does quick 30 second videos. Um, you can stop it a little bit earlier if you'd like to, um, but that is also so that it's not constantly recording everything that's around you for privacy reasons, because that would just be weird too. Um, as far as the videos go on this and the photos, they are going to come out in a square format. So you can post that on social media. That's pretty much the main reason why people get this anyway. So you can share your experience and what you're doing in the moment. Um, it's gonna record up to 30 frames per second in case you're a video snob like I am. So as I mentioned before, the glasses do come in a couple of different variations, different styles, shapes, sizes, colors, all that jazz. So down below, you're gonna find a link so that you can take a look at that yourself. But with that too, you can also add different lenses to this. Um, you can also add prescription lenses right off the bat too, if you like, they all come with a one year warranty. What I did was just got the base pair didn't add anything to it or anything like that, but I'm gonna wait until that warranty's up and then I'm gonna switch out the lenses and add my own transition ones uh, since you void the warranty if you make any changes after you buy it. So I'm gonna wait until that expires and then I'm gonna go ahead and make that change. If you did find this video helpful, leave a comment down below as far as which glasses you like the most. If you already have these, tell us what your thoughts are on them. Um, give this video a thumbs up because that really does help me out and take a second to subscribe because it's free anyway. So what's the harm in that? Um, if you like content like this, you're going to see a lot more of it, so click the bell for notifications if you like that. But I hope to see you guys in the next video.